Is this a real fairy? X-ray and DNA testing confirm that it is not an Earth species. The mysterious, goblin-like creature known as the Metepec hybrid has been the subject of numerous experiments and fascinating research. This mysterious organism's DNA sequence is made up of five different molecular organisms from different parts of the world. Laboratory analysis reveals that neither its nuclear DNA nor its mitochondrial DNA are identical to any currently known species. The real world always seems more intriguing than the novel at times. Richard Shaw met Mr. Jamie Mawson, one of the most well-known Hispanic American UFO researchers, while traveling in Mexico with L.A. Marzali. Mr. Mawson showed the two of them an amazing creature that looked strangely like a fairy in the legend as soon as they met. According to Shaw and Marzali, they have been putting off making this discovery public for a number of years. Many people have high hopes that the fascinating research findings of this real creature will be revealed in the upcoming Watchers 10 episode, and that this will forever alter history. To put it simply, you need to see this creature in person to believe that it actually exists. X-ray scans and DNA sequences are dispelling our doubts, despite the fact that many villagers continue to believe this is yet another internet con. A mythical fairy is the terrifying truth behind this mysterious creature. This mysterious creature and the Metepec hybrid were the subjects of DNA testing by Ricardo Rangel, PhD, a researcher. He stated that five different molecular biology labs from around the world examined this creature's DNA sequence, everyone's surprise, and data that are generally available, show that its DNA is 98.5% similar to human DNA. Ricardo Rangel elaborated further. The legs and feet of Metepec creatures are their primary feature. However, this enigmatic creature possesses a completely distinct characteristic, wings. We can clearly see its skeleton structure in its X-ray image. No, this is not a silly joke at all. It was not constructed using a model. The DNA Molecular Laboratory received tissue samples from this organism for research. They attempted to sequence its DNA but were unsuccessful. It can be matched with mammals or other animals. The study reveals that neither its nuclear DNA nor its mitochondrial DNA are compatible with any species currently known to exist on Earth. Mr. Jamie Mawson believes that the Metepec creature is most likely a hybrid, additionally, a creature that resembles the familiar elves may also be a hybrid of two other creatures. According to Jamie Mawson, this is bound to happen because I believe these organisms are products of the laboratory, however, what kind of experiment is this? What is your motivation for conducting this kind of experiment? I'm not sure. However, we are holding actual objects, we can investigate and demonstrate that this experiment conceals some kind of secret? L.A. Marzali said, will these creatures come from Revelation what about the bottomless pit mentioned in chapter 9, locusts come out of the smoke and fly to the ground, power is given to them, just like the power of a scorpion on the ground, and they are told not to harm the grass and all green things on the ground, and all trees, only be to hurt people who don't have the mark of God on their foreheads. But the locusts were not allowed to kill them only to suffer them for 5 months. The the link source of this video below in the description. Thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe.